I'm not a Home Alone hater, quite the opposite, but I do want to say, if you'll allow me to pause. Have you seen Home Alone 1 recently? I understand it's only November 21st. I feel like the scene where Kevin steals a toothbrush from the hardware store bothers me for a couple of reasons, okay? Obviously, Macaulay Culkin should not be going up asking the cashier, is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? That's something they can't be expected to know. That's more of a question for the dentist. That being said, Kevin then gets scared of old man Marley, and he runs out, and they say, like the, the you boy, run after him. And then he runs out and sees a cop. Remember when there used to be beat cops? Anyway, that's a story for a different day. He says, that kid's a shoplifter. And then Kevin runs onto like a, an ice rink where people are skating and the skate blades are going like an inch away from his head. But then it has the worst ADR of any scene I think I've ever seen in a movie in my entire life. They definitely brought Macaulay Culkin into the recording studio and had him go, ah! Is that when he opens his mouth and the sound that he's making in the movie is not the sound that he's making in the recording booth. Go, you'll watch it this holiday season and when that scene comes up, you will be like, I see what he's talking about now. And you will apologize to me. And it'll be the best day of my motherfucking life. I'm gonna watch new movies instead. Okay, enjoy Home Alone 4. I'm sure it's a lot better. I've watched Home Alone 30 times and I've never noticed that. You know what else I noticed? Is that Joe Pesci is really like a shit driver in that movie. He almost runs over Macaulay Culkin. There's no traffic on the street and no other pedestrians. How does that happen? I get that it's the 1990s, like people were just kind of like, you know, crashing their car into stuff, but He's talking to Marv? I know, part of being a good driver is not being so easily distracted, Mr. Pesci. They did already make a, a Home Alone, I guess it was like 2021. The Nostalgia Circle Jerk Home Alone, where like Buzz is in the movie. Buzz is like a police officer who was probably beating the shit out of shoplifters for stealing toothbrushes from the general store. It's actually crazy too, because in... So, Buzz is basically a bully in Home Alone, in case you haven't seen it. It's Kevin McAllister, aka Macaulay Culkin's older brother. He's just not a very nice guy. Now, does that mean that Macaulay Culkin should say some fucked up shit like Buzz your girlfriend woof? No, he still shouldn't be saying that because she didn't do anything. She might be like a totally nice person. But anyway, what's crazy to me is that in home, Alo home sweet home alone, Buzz, the bully, is a police officer. And then when they made A Christmas Story 2, they made Ralphie's bully from that a police officer as well. It's like they're really, the directors are trying to tell us something. <laughs> Hang on, it's based. I thought movies were supposed to be fiction, bro. I didn't expect social commentary from Home Alone. Or a Christmas story, for that matter. Even the Home Alone's gone woke. In this day and age. It really makes you think. It's barely social commentary. It's the most socially conscious movie I've ever seen. Prior to this, my favorite movie of all time was The Flash. Okay? So this is like a big moment for me. This is kind of my awakening to these sort of adult themes in, in major motion pictures. I mean, I love cinema. Of course, it's one of my, one of my great loves is, is the cinematic arts. That being said, I had never seen a movie until earlier this year when I found out my favorite influencer, Martin Scorsese, actually made a movie. I don't know if it's like a new thing for him or if it's the sort of, maybe he's been interested in getting into it for a while. He's been my kind of an influence for me in getting into old talk. I don't know if you know old talk. It's TikTok for the elderly. Yeah, yeah. 
me at my kids 14th birthday party I'm like a cool dad drinking a seltzer how you kids doing anybody need a ride you want to go home they're talking about r-rated movies you don't want to be uncomfortable we just recently let you watch pg-13s no i haven't seen scream 2 i heard it's very gory good for you uh, please fade out i can't keep this going forever bars bars bars